good morning. So I've already worked out, made my breakfast, journaled, planned my day, did all that stuff. I made matcha three hours ago. I made it at, I made it at seven and it is nine now, 9.30. And I haven't drank, haven't drank in it. I haven't drunk it, I haven't drank it. Okay, today's gonna be pretty busy. I am headed out to do a couple errands before heading into work for a little bit. And then I'm going to lunch with my dad before he goes out of town. And then this afternoon I have two back-to-back -back doctor's appointments. So that'll be fun, I can't wait. Yeah, so I curled my hair today and I don't know, I never do this, ever. But I was just out of it and I literally just like set the curling iron on my shoulder. And it took me a second to realize what I did. So it's like, burnt. We're doing great. Um, also, I got this bag the other day. I got this bag last week and I love it. So have you noticed with gas prices nowadays that there's always a stupid long line for gas? Like, I used to know like times of the day where I could go and get gas where there wouldn't be a line when you know people are in work. And, um, not anymore. No matter what time you come, there's a long line. It's just a long line everywhere. Oh, no. Do you have a side that's easier for you to park than the other or is it the same or and if you do have a side which side is it right or left that's that's the question of the day kids all right i'm at work now got a lot done it took over an hour to do that and honestly didn't get as much done as i wanted but it is what it is so yeah gonna work and i'll write your name Hello, so I am at the bank waiting for my dad to get some stuff ready for his trip. And then we're gonna go to lunch. And I think we're gonna go to Cactus Flower. Hopefully it won't be a long line because I don't have too much time, but that is the plan. It's just been a journey of like learning what works for my body and what does it. And it's really difficult in today's culture of social media and having all these different diets right on your fingertips, you know? So it's like one day I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to eat a high protein diet. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. Um, a good day. Cereal is probably the worst way you can possibly start your morning. Maybe not. Have a bowl of fruit instead. Fruit is absolutely terrible for you. I cannot go wrong with a plate of vegetables. Please, Lord. You've been told that all vegetables are good for you. Yeah, it's just learning how to have a good relationship with food. And one big thing that I'm working on right now is looking at food and not being scared of it. Um, I have, I never, okay. So up until 2018, I did not have a problem with any food. Like I didn't care what it was. I would eat it. Um, not, I would be happy eating vegetables or eating fried chicken and ice cream, you know, like it didn't matter. It could be gluten, dairy. Like I had no allergies. I had no hesitations with food. Like I felt pretty good eating anything. And then, I mean, I could go overseas and eat like chicken feet and it'd be fine. Like I wasn't scared of anything happening. Um, and then after having health problems and actually eating, drinking water and being in pain, you know, eating, um, simple foods like eggs, which are supposed to be okay for anybody to have and being in pain. And so it just created like this fear of food of why bother eating when I know it's just going to make me hurt worse. And so it did create a lot of, um, problems with food and, um, I don't want to say like an ED, but kind of, yeah. Um, where I would skip meals because I knew it was gonna cause my stomach to hurt so bad or eating and then immediately feeling I need to get rid of it just because I know that is gonna end up causing pain. So now being able to eat foods 
there's still times where I look at a food and I'm like scared of how it's going to affect me, which does create stress in my body, which doesn't help. But I am trying to work on that right now of seeing food as what it is and what it does for my body and noticing like, hey, I ate that and I felt great. Or I ate that, I did feel a little funny. Let's let's figure that out more, you know? Um, to narrow down what it is exactly that I shouldn't be eating because I went from such a broad, can't eat anything, to now it's like, no, I can pretty much eat a, a decent amount, but there are still things that I my system's not ready for yet. But it doesn't need, mean that I need to be afraid of every food. Today was a pretty full day and I just talked for about 14 minutes, so... I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I will probably read for a little bit and go out and watch the sunset. And probably as soon as I do that, I'll come back in and go to bed because I am extremely tired. But I hope this video was somewhat entertaining. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions about any of that health stuff that I talked about. I would love to be able to share any information that I have learned about that that could help you or I could point you to somebody that could potentially help you and coach you and help you with all this stuff because it's very important to feel your best so um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye